the first step is going to your local grocery store that carries dry ice. Dry ice will be in a special freezer and should cost around $129 a pound. For about 15 bottles, 4 pounds is the correct amount. This cost us about five and a half dollars and barely filled the bottom of a paper bag. Some pieces will fit right in, while others need a little bit of hammering help. Mostly if you press it hard enough, it should fit in just right. Or you use shear pressure. Yeah. Shear it off. But sometimes you'll actually have to hammer it with the palm of your hand. This is about how much you're going to need in each bottle. Not very much when you consider the entire amount. You screw the cap on and throw it somewhere safe as this could be reasonably dangerous if you kept it near yourself. While we keep making these, the ones down uh, range will start heating up and filling up the bottle as this solid becomes the gas and fills up the entire contents of the bottle, pressurizing it to sometimes reaching more than 200 PSI. Now that we've finished all that we have, it's a waiting contest. Once the first one blows up, we will know that the rest are ready to go. To detonate these, it's a whole lot of fun to have some good target practice. You can either use a normal rifle, a 22, or a really powerful pellet gun like I have here. And what helps the most is to have pointed pellets. Before you plan an event of blowing up the two liter bottles, you need to make sure that you are not in a public place or a neighborhood as this makes an extremely loud noise and could be considered as a bomb. Also make sure that if you're using a 22 rifle or a powerful pellet gun that you are pointed in a safe direction where no one can get hurt. Also make sure that all of the 2 liter bottles exploded as you don't want any surprises when you're cleaning up the trash. I think he went that way. This one seems to have lost its head. This one seems to suck in the suck in the cap when it uh, when it died. This one right here seems to have lost its neck.
Now I'm sure many people are going to comment that dry ice is not the only way. As a matter of fact, it is the slowest way to detonate these. No, baking soda and vinegar will not get the job done. Uh, one of the other popular methods used is aluminum foil and some sort of powerful acid or base such as lye or muric acid or any pool cleaning material. Although this works very well and is almost instantaneous as you don't have to wait 20 or 30 minutes for the bottles to detonate, um, it can be very dangerous as you're dealing with powerful chemicals. In addition, it tends to heat up the bottle and actually melt it before it is prepared to detonate, which doesn't give quite the same effect. And in addition, when the dry ice blows up, it gives a dry, crisp explosion, whereas the aluminum foil and muric acid or lye gives kind of a plump, you know, it's watered down. Um, now what happens, uh, you may be asking, well why does this happen, you know, how, why does it just make this loud noise? Well, in effect, since it's 150 or 200 PSI, uh, when that is in, if released, it makes a shock wave, if you want to call it, of air rushing forward, which is perceived by us as sound. This is the exact same way that lightning works, as when lightning strikes, it instantly heats up that air that the lightning bolt was in to above 5,000 degrees and makes a huge outward rush of air as it is extremely pressurized in that fine point. When it does that, it makes that loud crack. In effect, this has the exact same magnitude as a bolt of lightning striking right next to you. And for target practice, it gives the perfect effect for knowing whether or not you hit it. 